kids will meditate in school. Welcome back to Good News Next Week, everybody. I'm James Evan Pilato from MediaMonarchy.com with your Good News Next Week for the week of September 26th, 2016, and our first back indoors episode of Good News Next Week for several months, as it now is fall. We've got that story about meditating in school, plus the love hormone, but first... Last week was pretty much all cats all the time, but let's give a little bit of equal time with an interesting story tweeted at us by our buddy at Eric Moshe using hashtag good news next week, and it's about funeral dogs. And the article actually talks a lot about, of course, how animals are used very well for tens of thousands of years as fantastic companions to humans. In Indianapolis, at the G.H. Herman funeral home. They have six service dogs that work on different shifts. The dogs are very much an integral part of the funeral home. They greet people at the door and frequently are invited to accompany the mourners while making the funeral arrangements. So if dogs are able to deal with PTSD, detect cancer, and dig people out of rubble and other situations, Kind of makes sense that they'd be good at that point in life, in the cycle of life and death right there. I'm, of course, no apologies, always been a cat person. But the longer now that we've had Frankie, and I have my own cat as we have for the last year and a half, I find myself loving dogs and knowing that it's probably only a matter of time, probably only a matter of where we live, before we get a dog added to the family as well. And again, it's just a very simple, fundamental thing to make you happier. Our second story this week gets into the love hormone via Pop Psy, noting, again, doing good makes you feel good, but they can tap into that. There's the little secret way in. So they basically ran an experiment where they recruited 83 middle-aged men who were split into two groups. One were given oxytocin hormone, the other placebo. Afterwards, those who received the oxytocin were more likely to say spirituality was important in their lives and that they felt connected to other living things and agreeing with statements like, quote, all life is interconnected, or there is a higher plane of consciousness or spirituality that binds all people. During a guided meditation, those who'd gotten a hormonal boost were more likely to feel awe, gratitude, hope, inspiration, interest, love, and serenity. Even a week later, the effect remains. You can read about that in Duke Today, and it was published in Social, Cognitive, and Effective Neuroscience. You can follow those links, just like everything else that we say and play in the Media Monarchy Kingdom is down in the show notes. And while you're down there, we'll ask you to give us a thumbs up and to share these ways that we are winning if you find Good News Next Week a valuable resource. Now, I had one person tweet a story about kids meditating in school, and then I had another person tweet me about kids meditating in school. So, Obviously, people are thinking about it, and it's resonating. Now, what's my jokey thing I sang as the title of this episode? It's a line, actually, out of an old Dead Kennedy song, who we cite often on these shows as a longtime inspiration to not only media monarchy, but throughout my own kind of counterculture life. And that's Jello Biafra and the Dead Kennedys. In their pretty seminal song, California Uber Alice, it's basically about a shiny, happy, left Democrat fascist takeover in the face of, not in the face of, in the form, rather, of Jerry Brown in the specifics of the song written from the 70s perspective. You might know Michael Fronte of Disposable Heroes of Hypocrisy kind of updated it in, in the 90s. But the words that are there kind of ring true, and we actually got into a discussion about this on the tweets at hashtag good news next week about this story, and ultimately, it's a positive thing, but we can debate whether things are sometimes un, not unmitigated good. It was recently reported that Robert W. Coleman Elementary in West Baltimore will be taking a new and holistic approach to disciplining students. Instead of punishing them or sending them to the principal's office, administrators will now be sending children to the Mindful Moment Room, where they'll be able to meditate and wind down. Some of the comments also note that that's probably shouldn't be wielded as a weapon of punishment. If you're going to have mindful moments, we should probably all be having mindful moments. And again, these kind of things tap into the good chemicals in your brain. And I had to do a little bit of quick research, and I'll include that as well, to break down what the difference between dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, and endorphins all do. They're sort of all, again, sort of the keys to the bank. We've got it all inside us, and certain things can activate those. 
other things can activate them in negative ways. Everybody's getting ready to have their two minutes hate tonight as the first big trumpery debate happens in America's next top president. And no matter which side you fall on in the phony left-right paradigm, you get your candidate to two minutes hate again against. And, and again, you're going to manifest that thing you claim you don't want. <laughs> Some of the other things floating around on hashtag good news next week. A hilarious one. Bike manufacturer sees huge reduction in delivery damage by printing a TV on the box. There was a place actually out of uh, the Netherlands who was having huge crushing of all their bikes that they shipped. They finally printed a television on there and found a 70 to 80 percent reduction. So now if only they'd start printing bikes on TV boxes. Another story about bikes. It's got the picture right in there. Swedish government wants to reward citizens who repair instead of toss. Now, this again might file under not unmitigated good news, because do you need to be paid or rewarded to do something you know is good? Ending is better than mending, as they tried to counter-teach us in Brave New Worlds. And our last story, again, by our buddy Eric Moshe, tweeted with us, you know, It's got to go back to cats in some way. Inventor creates a way to help Valley veterans and cat lovers. I mean, this story actually has got healthy home improvements. It's got ethnic and gender diversity. It's got a growing made in America, small business. And, of course, it's got cats. The Purifier. You can watch that entire video just like you can explore all the other stories we talk about here if you just follow the links in the show notes. And I appreciate you sending us some of the ways that we are winning using hashtag good news next week. If you're not on the tweets that apparently are probably going to get sold to friggin' Disney, don't sign up. If you've made it this far without getting into the social net, we applaud you and just implore you to send us an email, james at mediamonarchy.com. This has been your Good News Next Week, episode 34. For the week of September 26, 2016, I'm James Evan Pilato from MediaMonarchy.com, reminding you, as always, my friends, like Jello Biafra of the Dead Kennedy said, don't hate the media, become the media. Take care.